Now, you know what they say about solving problems. Best to fix the roof when the sun's shining. The problem when it comes to green energy, though, is exactly that. What to do when the sun's shining, creating more solar power than we can actually use. Or how to harness the enormous potential of wind turbines for later use when there's barely a breeze. The answer may lie in a Swiss hydroelectric system, and it could one day be coming to Loch Ness. In the Swiss Alps near Geneva is a battery which holds as much power as 400,000 electric cars combined. It isn't made of precious metals, but precious water stored in these reservoirs. To see how it works, we need to head deep inside this mountain through Bond villain style doors, then along a six kilometer tunnel into the heart of this hydro plant. So this is the main cavern yeah. where the machines are. Wow. As you can see, it's huge. It's Beneath our feet are 20 meter tall turbines turned when water flows between the reservoirs. It's all about maximizing renewable energy. When the sun is shining and the wind is blowing, excess energy is used to pump water from the lower to the higher reservoir. If renewable energy drops, the water is released down the pipe, turning turbines to transform the energy in this giant water battery into electricity. We take another tunnel uphill to the higher reservoir. So we have reached the top of the scheme now. Inside this room you can see the scale of the pipe. At peak flow it can fill an Olympic swimming pool in 10 seconds, creating enough electricity to power 1 million homes for 15 hours. Some uh, power plants like nuclear power plants you cannot vary the, the, the power uh, released so you need storage power plants like these to basically balance the whole system. This is where enough electricity to power a million homes is put onto the grid at 2,000 times the voltage you'd get from a plug at home. And this is where they want to build something similar, Loch Ness. Several private developers have plans in the pipeline, but they're waiting for the UK government to offer a so-called income floor, which will offer investors a guarantee of repayment. Back in Switzerland, Thank you. one developer explained why he thinks this tech should be built in Scotland. The topography is, is ideally uh, suited to these projects with, uh, with locks high up and, and locks low down. And at the same time, this topology is situated right at the centre between all of the wind power uh, that's being generated. What about the impact on the environment? It shouldn't look any different at all. For, from the lock itself, uh, you might see from certain angles the dam. The dam itself is, is like a continuation of the hill. It'll be covered with, with grass and, and heather, so it'll disappear fairly quickly. Critics are worried that fluctuations of a foot in depth in the lock could impact fish stocks. There's also the cost, at least £2 billion over the eight-year build. But developers say projects like this are the greenest way to offer energy security to a population the size of Edinburgh and Glasgow combined. Martin Stew, News at 10, Switzerland.